Hi you guys, this is my what's in my clinical bag video. I noticed that a lot of YouTubers make this video, this um, essential nursing student video. So I thought I'd make a video about um, what's in my clinical bag. Now this basically hasn't changed from the end of first semester. I just started second semester and I've only been a week in. So um, I haven't added anything to my clinical bag since second semester. Only just various papers that we need for our pediatric rotation. So I'm going to just get started, okay? Anyway, this is my clinical bag. I put it in my, um, basically, my supplies video for nursing school. And it has served me well. It has given me no problems at all. And I'm very happy that I bought it. Um, I put the link in that video, so if you're curious about where I got this bag and um, how much it cost or just interested in wanting to buy it. Comes in other colors and designs as well. I just chose this one. Um, go ahead and look at that video. Anyway, this is my bag. So I'll just get started with the pockets. First pocket. Let's see, what do I have in here? Bunch of pencils and pens. Um, I think this is going to be the common theme throughout this whole bag. I just shove pens and pencils everywhere. So basically, let me just tell you this. If you're about to go into nursing school, it's probably better to either get yourself a bunch of black or blue pens because that's the professional way to do it in um, the clinical setting or when you become a nurse. I've rarely seen nurses use pink pens or blue pens when they're filling out their forms or whatnot. Um, or get erasable pens. I haven't gotten erasable, erasable pens yet, but um, I think that's probably going to be um, something that I'm going to be doing soon. My next pocket, I do have a watch, an extra watch. I mainly use this one, um, which is my um, Samsung Gear watch that um, links to my phone. I can't use my phone all the time, so when I get a text message or whatever, I just simply look at my watch because it'll just pop up on my watch. But um, you know you need it for your counting respirations or whatnot. Um, but in case the battery runs out while I'm out there, I just put my extra Casio watch in the pocket. Um, I also have this in that video that I mentioned before. So if you're interested, it's very cheap, um, and I bought it on Amazon. I have earphones for break time if I want to listen, some Bluetooth, Bluetooth earphones if I want to listen to anything on YouTube or just any audiobook. I put my um, Bluetooth earphones in there as well. I have a little cute little hand sanitizer that I bought from, I think Walmart. It came in a pack. Um, I mean, it's just basic... Um, nice smelling uh, antibacterial um, hand sanitizer. It's not as powerful as the ones in the hospital or ones that do not smell. So maybe not buy that. Don't know if I recommend that. I have a Sharpie for in case you do some wound bandage changes. You can have that in your pocket ready to go. Although our scrubs are white so I don't have this in my pocket all the time, just in case. I have pen lights. I featured this in my other video as well. I have a pack of about five of them. So I threw them all in my clinical bag, um, just in case. Other students have also asked me for a pen light when they're um, missing their pen light or forgot to bring theirs. And so I have been the person who loans a pen light out. Again, with the pens and pencils common theme. I have a few clips in here in case I have a lot of papers, uh, binder clips that I need to keep track of. Let's see. My stethoscope, of course. What just flew out was some um, alcohol swabs. These I got from my clinical. I left them in my scrubs pocket but um, obviously took these from the hospital, but you can buy them from the store. And I use them to wipe my stethoscope off every time I use it on a patient. I just have a lot of them in there. What do I do in shopping? Um, what else do I have? 
We have the soap box. I have other Sharpies, other colored Sharpies, which I place in my pockets. But I also have the bandage scissors. Um, I haven't had a chance to use these yet. But I've noticed that this semester, nurses, well, so far, nurses have asked us at our clinical site, do you have a, do you have a pair of scissors on you? So I do plan on keeping these in my, um, I believe these are for sutures, in my scrubs, these at least. So they're good to have on you in case your nurse asks them. More pens, of course, and pen lights. Lotion, the essentials. Got my shea butter in there. Um, this is essential. Usually, I just put this in my bag this semester because someone gave it to me for Christmas. But usually I have the small travel sized uh, gold bond lotions. That's essential because you'll be washing your hands left and right as you should be, sanitizing left and right and your hands will dry out. So get you some travel sized lotions, please. Care for your skin. And then I have like a pack of tissues just in case. Gotta make sure my face looks right before, you know, I go out to clinical. I have a smaller planner in my, um, this is the happy planner in my clinical bag. Just in case, you know, I'm on break and I need to be reminded of what it is that's coming up due. So I have filled it out with various appointments. Um, I did only use this, want to keep this just for my son's doctor's appointments or any family things. But I ended up putting like all of my stuff in here. Um, just... You know, a brief something's due. Didn't fill out the whole the whole uh, box, but it's good to just remind myself and have a smaller planner, which I place in my clinical bag. Um, what else do I have? So again, this video is unedited, so bear with me. Okay, moving on to the bigger pockets. Have my clipboard. This I did feature in my other video as well. So it has turned out to be essential. Other people have that clipboard that folds um, and goes into the pocket of your scrubs. Many have said that that doesn't even fit in the pocket of their scrubs. So maybe it just doesn't fit in our type of scrubs pocket, but that's the senses of the students in my cohort. So they wish that they bought this one, which opens like this. So in here, I keep um, various papers that I'll need for our clinical, but I also have this. It's essential, I believe, to have a small, um, just a small tiny notebook that you can jot down your vitals if you need to report off to your nurse instead of just like lugging this around and writing it down. You can just take this out of your scrub pocket and just slip it open and Bada bing, bada boom, write down your vitals and report off to your nurse. It also has a space to keep a pencil or a pen for when you're, when you're writing things down. And in our program, we have a blue book that we need to get checked off on in the clinical, um, stating that we've done this skill in the clinical setting. So I keep that in here. And it's supposed to be like our lifeline. Like we cannot lose it. We cannot have it. It cannot get damaged at all. Otherwise... You'll have to go back and find each one of those instructors who ca taught you that skill and have them sign off on it. And of course, they're not going to remember you from like, if you're in fourth semester, all the way back to first semester. So I keep it safe because I know I have three little babies who like to get their hands on things. Another thing I keep in here, <clears throat> originally I taped it to the front, but I took it off. Um, I kind of printed out... A, let me show you an Excel sheet index of all the drug cards that I have um, and I will put it I taped it to the front of my clipboard so that if I don't know if your program is different but when I do my med pass and I see all the medications that my patient has I can quickly see if I have that med card already made um, I would just refer to this instead of rummaging through all the med cards I have. I would just refer to this and see if I have it, um, check it off, and then go from there to see how many more med cards I'll need to make for this patient that I have to pass my meds on. 
So it's been very helpful. So that's a helpful tip for you if um, you know you feel that you'll need it. Um, but for now, I put these in my clipboard because we don't really need it this semester yet. Um, so yeah, it also has all of your critical values that you need and information too on the back of the clipboard. So that's helpful to resort to when you're dealing with your patients. What else do I have? I have ooh, my med cards and some, some extra med cards here. Kind of bent. But um, I have all of my med cards. It's a stack. Um, I think there's about close to 100 in here. But I keep them on me just in case I may need to pass meds and then have to educate my patient. Other things I have, bottle of water, my MAC makeup, but, um, you know, in case I need a mirror. Um, I don't know why this is in there, but um, it's a 50 calorie fruit cocktail thing. But, you know, you do get hungry on the clinical site, so I would normally keep snacks in here. I also have an extra set of scrub pans because in my program you get your scrubs dirty and we do wear white um with feces blood whatever if it's just you know just horrible you will need to change or you will need to go home and if you have to go home you get no points for that day or no uh it's like you didn't fulfill your clinical hours so i keep an extra set of pans in my clinical bag um what else in my side pockets, I also have a calculator for, you know, any pop quiz, medical dosage, dimensional analysis quizzes that we may have. So I have my calculator, they let us use it. And anything else? No, I think that's all. So yeah, that's basically it. That's all I have in my clinical bag. Um, and that's basically the end of first semester, beginning of second semester. So far, this is all I have needed. The only thing that I have noticed that has changed in e equipment-wise or supply-wise for the beginning of this second semester for pediatrics is the stethoscope. Pediatric stethoscopes. They've said that you mainly use a stethoscope, stethoscope that is smaller, which makes sense. Um, and I guess it's sort of the size of this, but I'm not sure if this is correct. If this is the pediatric side, I know this is the bell. Um, and if that, you know, is okay to use, I don't think it is, but um, we don't need a pediatric stethoscope, but I just noticed that that's a change in equipment. Um, they have the pediatric stethoscopes at the hospital. So in the NICU where I was, each um, infant or preemie that was in the incubator had a stethoscope already hanging um, from the IV pole, sanitized and ready to use every single day. Each nurse, each change of shift would sanitize the stethoscope and keep it posted up there um, for physical assessments. Because obviously it doesn't make sense to use an adult diaphragm on, you know, a baby because you'll be hearing uh, bowel sounds and respiratory and heart sounds all at the same time such a small surface area. Anyway, that is what is in my clinical bag this semester and at the end of second semester. Do I have any other things to offer or to, um, not to offer, but to give you advice on getting? No, that's pretty much all I've had. But I would definitely recommend you get that, um, the lotion. I've kept the Gold Bond travel size lotion in my um, pockets and it's just been a lifesaver. Your hands get so dry out there. Um, as far as the sanitizer, you can do without it because there's supposed to be sanitizer at the hospital, but I just keep it in my bag because when I get in my car or when I'm on my way to my car, I make sure I sanitize like one more time. I am going back to my babies and my family and my husband and all, and I don't want to bring anything home. But anyway, 
that's this video that concludes this video on what's in my clinical bag I hope you have enjoyed it if you are a current nursing student and there's something that you think I should have in my bag or is essential please do let me know in the comments below um, if you like this video please subscribe um, if not then thank you for watching anyway all right I'll talk to you guys later bye